everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing part two of my SPF collection as of July 2021. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Uh, she also has a squeaky chair. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you if you have yet to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Let's start part two of my SPF collection by very briefly discussing the difference between chemical and physical sunscreens. I did discuss this in part one, um, so if you watched part one, I will put a timestamp right here or right here as to where the actual video begins so that it's not redundant. Chemical sunscreens use ingredients that absorb and release UV rays from the skin. They typically take about 30 minutes to take effect and are most often lighter. They blend easily and they do not leave a white cast over the skin. Physical sunscreens are made with minerals that block and reflect UV rays. These sunscreens work instantly. Physical sunscreens are better suited for rosacea prone skin or sensitive skin. You should apply about a shot glass full of sunscreen to all exposed areas of the body. So wherever you're not wearing clothes. A nickel sized amount is safe for use all over the face. But remember that not all bodies and not all faces are the same size. All sunscreens must be applied every two hours for full protection. If you only apply your sunscreen prior to going out for a hike and you're outdoors for the entirety of the day, you will definitely see the effects of the sun either when you get home or during the week. If you do not like applying cream-based sunscreens when you are out and about exploring nature, I definitely suggest adding a sunscreen in spray form such as this one. Although even application of sunscreen in, in spray form is easy, protection can be questioned. Um, I definitely suggest applying two full layers and allow one layer to dry, then apply the next so that you can uh, confidently enjoy the outdoors. So I am starting uh, part two of this video with the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint. Physical daily defense. This is what she looks like. The lights are a little bright here. This retails for $36 and you do receive 1.7 ounces, making this $21 per ounce. She is currently available at Sephora.com and DrunkElephant.com. This is a physical sunscreen with a tint to help diffuse the appearance of uneven tone or redness throughout the skin. The universal tint may be the darkest in my collection, but I would still definitely suggest that deeper skin tones do a swatch. I actually do not reach for this sunscreen too much. Because I don't reach for this enough, I also have not worn this under makeup. So I definitely cannot speak to how it wears under makeup. I will say, however, that when I was doing the swatch, it just felt too heavy over the skin. So the finish of this, this has a very heavy, kind of greasy, very luminous finish to the skin that I don't find to be comfortable at all. This has been in my collection for years. I've had a number of these in my collection and sometimes I will use it. Um, I just have to be really just in the mood for it. You know, I'm not gonna apply something heavy like this in 90 degree weather like we have right now. I can't honestly say that this is not one of my favorite sunscreens in my collection, although I love practically everything else that Drunk Elephant makes. Next up, I have the Kate Somerville 
Daily Deflector Mineral Sunscreen. This retails for $50 and you do receive 1.7 fluid ounces. This retails for $29 per ounce. This is currently available at Sephora. This is a physical sunscreen that protects the skin from UVA, UVB rays, and blue light from electronic devices. My favorite thing about this is actually the packaging. I also like that it is lightweight and it is not sticky. I use um, two full pumps of this under makeup. Is there anything that I do not like about this? I do not think that this would be hydrating or moisturizing enough for the colder, drier months. For now, that it is about 80 to 90 degrees here every day, it wears nicely under makeup without me having to layer an additional moisturizer under this SPF. But this definitely gives my skin a white cast no matter how much I massage this product over the skin. I definitely choose to wear this particularly um, under makeup the most. I feel like this sunscreen provides a really nice smooth base under makeup and it's not too luminous or too dewy for normal skin where I do not like how it wears under makeup. I think that the finish here is a natural, almost a matte finish. However, if I'm wearing it over a lot of skincare products, it tends to have more of a luminous finish to the skin. It does still, however, feel like lighter in weight than some of the other products I have in my collection. This has been in my collection for, I wanna say about three months. And I would recommend this to normal combo oily skin who love physical sunscreens. I feel that if you have a fair skin, you definitely will enjoy this without makeup. But anyone who has a similar skin tone to mine, you may just want to opt to wear this um, under makeup to not let anybody see a white cast over the skin. I do, however, want to mention this. When I do go out on walks, which I do so every weekend, I do see, and you know, just even people, you know, going out and about and they're grocery shopping, I do see a ton of people wearing sunscreen, physical sunscreen, and they do not mind the white cast. It just shows that a lot of people don't seem to mind that and you know that's okay with me but if you do not love a white cast I would definitely steer you towards this purchase if you love a physical sunscreen um, or even this. I, I definitely reach for this more um, when I do wear makeup so I can actually hide the white cast. Next I have something that's really new in my collection. This is the Osmosis Skincare SPF 30 Broad Spectrum sunscreen. This is beautiful packaging. This retails for $30 and you do receive 1.69 ounces making this $17 per ounce. This is currently available at skinstore.com and I recently hauled this so I will link that video up above in case you missed it. This is a reef safe non nano coated physical sunscreen that protects the skin against UVA and UVB rays. This does not have a tint but it also does not leave a white cast over the skin and she's a physical sunscreen. As far as what I like is that the packaging I want to say is also pretty amazing. I love everything about the packaging of this sunscreen. It feels like the rest of these are boring and then you have this beautifully packaged sunscreen. There's some weight to it as well and the colors used within the Osmosis uh, skincare range are beautiful. Um, I feel like they speak to me. When I am not reaching for the Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral uh, Naked Sunscreen or Tinted Sunscreen, I am actually uh, reaching for this on Makeup Days. As far as what I don't like about this sunscreen, I feel like the texture is a little bit different than the other sunscreens. And similar to the other physical sunscreens in my collection, the um, Murad City Skin, being the exception here. This does not moisturize my skin 
as much as the other chemical sunscreens do. So if I were to still have this around during cooler, drier months, I would probably wear this over a moisturizer. Those are my only real callouts for this particular sunscreen. Say for example, at around three or four o'clock, I feel like with this particular sunscreen, my skin may start to feel a little tight or just dry because it doesn't provide the skin with any additional moisture, at least my normal skin. Oops. I definitely don't think I'm like dehydrated or anything, but from, you know, having used this a handful of times, that's what I've noticed. This does wear very beautifully under makeup, and I would say that this particular sunscreen has more of a natural finish. It's not luminous at all, and it's also not too matte. It's really nice in between. That works very well on my normal skin during the a warm months. I would recommend this particular sunscreen to anyone with a deeper skin tone, perhaps maybe a medium skin tone such as mine, that is looking for a physical sunscreen that does not leave a white cast. I think that sensitive, normal combo and oily skin types would definitely enjoy this. Drier skin types may want to wear a moisturizer underneath this to feel comfortable throughout the day. To finish this uh, SPF collection off, I do have the Public Good Sunscreen, and this is a spray form. This uh, is an SPF of 50, and the price here is $9.50 for 6 ounces, making this $1.58 per ounce, quite possibly the least expensive uh, sunscreen in my collection. This is only available at publicgoods.com. This is a reef safe water resistant chemical sunscreen that also contains avocado oil. So it protects the skin against both UVA and UVB rays. I love that this goes on clear. It is a spray form and it is not sticky no matter how hot or how sweaty I get on our dog walk. I also really like the packaging and although some of the colors used look similar to the other products in my collection, it's very different, I would say. I reach for this when we go out on dog walks and right before I go to work to keep both my arms and chest protected from the sun. Because this is a spray, I do mist one full layer over the skin. I wait for that to dry and then I spray my skin one more time just to make sure that I have fully covered my exposed skin. I do not use this product on my face. I use my cream base sunscreens on the face to ensure a more thorough application. Um, I do love that this is a lightweight, non-sticky sunscreen, um, and it may have a slight scent upon application, but once you're out and about, the scent is practically non-existent. I have been using this daily for about a month now, and I would recommend this product to anyone who wants an affordable uh, sunscreen and spray form to use on their body, whether you are, say, for example, at the beach or the pool or out on a dog walk, and you don't want to use your hands to like apply a cream-based product, that's when I would reach for something that is comes in spray form. Because I have used this on the body, I have also not experienced any bit of a rash on my skin and my keratosis pilaris hasn't really gotten any worse but this is what the skin looks like after the sunscreen has been sitting over it for a few hours it's not sticky at all um, and it just gives the skin a nice healthy healthy natural glow that is all I have for my SPF collection as of July 2021, um, part two. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite sunscreen is in the comments down below. It doesn't have to be the one you're wearing today. Just let me know which sunscreen is your favorite, your must have. I'd really love to know. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. Before you X out of this video, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you have not, and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future videos. And I will see you in my next video.
Bye. This is, sorry, there's a tingle in my nose.